First day of summer, time to do some uh, some summer cleaning. Let's check out that. Whoa, 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 oh, shoot. Oh. Is, this, is this, hello, is this Dunlop Exterminators? I, you gotta get over here. We, we just kicked a hornet's nest. I, I don't know what to do. Send help, send help. Yeah, this is a California condor headed into the jungle zone, over. Shout to control. Do you have eyes? Do you read me? Copy. Oh my. Yep, there's definite yellow jacket activity here. We have on the premises. Oh God! Oh God! Stand by! Stand by! I got eyes on one. Would you look at. Get the general on the line. That's a stinger the size of Texas. Ho holy mackerel! I got more. I got more. Look at that. I would not want it. That is not yellow jacket. That that's something bigger. I got a bad feeling about this. This is ominous. Stop! Stop that line! Oh my god! I I got eyes on something here. Do, uh, do you read me? Do, do god save us all! Get out! Yes, guys, if you have any trouble with pests, now you know to call 1 800 LAPED for Dunlop Exterminators Hotline. Stupid disregard. But uh, seriously, if you like the video, excuse me, if you like the intro, like the video, and consider subscribing to the channel, it would mean a lot. The real reason we're here, though, Yonex Polytour Pro, an established string among tennis heads around the world, even seen on tour by Big Foe. The South African Lloyd Harris uses it. Casper Root has a hybrid setup with this in it. And of course, the bad boy himself, Nick Curio. So, like I said, an established string with uh, much following, a staple among poly users. Flash yellow, baby, 18 gauge. Supposedly a lot of access to spin and comfort, very soft. See comfort right there on the packaging. And of course, soft being highlighted on the back. I've only tried this for a handful of hours in a demo, keen on having it in my racket for a fair share of time. But of course, Signum Pro Yellow Jacket here to see if it can dethrone this established string, um, mimic it, emulate it, surpass it, you name it, it's gonna try it. The main difference, it's comfortable, it's soft, just like this one, but the main difference, it's, it's it has a shape to it, six-sided, so, um, you know, a lot of different reviews, both kind of saying that they're comfortable, access to spin, but other people saying that, who, know, who cares, man? Let's string them up, that's the main point. Hit the course and I'll share my thoughts. So yes, finally got a second Dunlop in the tennis bag, which I'm thrilled about. Here's a uh, view with the naked eye, yellow jacket on the left, Polytor Pro on the right from your perspective. Uh, here I am hitting with the main feature presentation, yellow jacket in a 17 gauge. And it's true what they said leading up into it. Very soft, very comfortable. We all know full beds of polys have a bad habit of being abrasive on the arm. Absolutely no discomfort, so checks the box there. Definite positive, but so low power, man. And in this low power Dunlop with the smaller head size and the thinner beam, it was just a poor combination, I suppose. Strung it low at 48 to try to combat that, but should have gone a couple pounds lower, I suppose. It uh, just led to so many shallow, shallow ground strokes and it was irritating from start to finish. I couldn't get any depth going with any consistency. And it wasn't even due to the, the launch angle. It had a fine launch angle, it's, it had nice spin. It was just so soft, it was so plasticky. This is what I look for in strings that I try. I want that crispy feeling, that top trampoline-like feel where the Ooh, inertia of yeah. the ball is absorbed and re-injected into the ball for some zip. This is what it felt like, though. It felt flat, and that was my face. A little bit of embarrassment. Nah, nah, I wasn't embarrassed, but a little bit of shock and disappointment, to say the least. And I hate to speak poorly of tennis products because I'm so excited about all things tennis. I want to I want to rave about it. I want to create excitement around it, but... I can't really give my stamp of approval to Yellow Jacket, unfortunately, just because, again, of, of the plasticky feel where I was struggling to get any real power um, and zing on my balls. Unlike 
Polytor Pro, baby, which I'm playing with here in these footage. It had that premium feel. Something about the composition of the string. I don't know what it is. It's hard to put into words, but it's able to give me that crispy, fresh feeling with a great deal of predictability. So it's controlled, but it, it zips off the string bed. And it's a wonderful feeling. It, it felt similar to Tour Bite, which I was raving about in my video. I'll leave a link above. Uh, perhaps it's the price point you pay for what you get type of situation where it's a premium price point, but it's a premium string maker. Who's to say? I mean, Yellow Jacket's only 11 bucks. Polytour Pro is sitting at 17. Um, I played it with a thinner gauge, 18 in this footage. Don't normally flirt with strings that thin, more of a 17 gauge guy, but it's what the retailer sent me and I wasn't about to send it back over the pond. Just bit the bullet, played with it and was pleasantly surprised. Nice uh, bite on this one, despite being fully round. The downfall though, specifically with this instance, was how quickly the uh, string broke, which Makes perfect sense given how thin it was. It lasted nine days before it popped right in the middle. I'll show a picture of that here in a second. But uh, Polytor Pro, man, I've tried about 15 strings now and it goes straight to the top of the list with the likes of Tour Bite. We'll definitely look to try it again if I didn't have so many other strings to try as is. But um, yeah, just positive things all around through and through to say. No arm discomfort, very predictable, controlled and good power and um, zing as I just mentioned so that's really all I got those are my findings unfortunately I can't recommend yellow jacket but that's that uh, like the video as I mentioned subscribe if you will and remember that trashman tennis saw what the tennis trash we've been I'll see you on the next one